All right, so you've got your two diverter valves here. On the left side, we have the latest revision, revision J, you can see there. And on the right side, we have our 2019 version, which is revision F. They're practically identical. I don't really see a difference between the two. So usually what tends to happen is inside, if you see that blue seal right there, it'll start to deteriorate over time and basically that causes failure to the diverter valve you need to get replaced same thing with this yellow o-ring here that seals it over time it can deteriorate this one has about 30k miles so it's still holding up fine and this one is brand new if you want to take a look at the internals here you've got this spring that basically goes in there, and then you've got the cap for it. And you can see that there. And you push that in place. And it snaps in. But yeah, check your diverter valves. Check that blue rubber seal. Fault codes for this, sometimes it, sometimes it could be under boost. Sometimes it'll say like open circuit. Some diverter valves for whatever reason become unplugged. Right here. For whatever reason. It doesn't happen too often, but these do happen to fail. That's why there's so many revisions for them. Revision F, Revision J. Sometimes this can be part of a uh, boost leak code under boost P0299. Not all the time. Let's say your boost leak test checks out, then you know you might want to double check your diverter valve just to make sure. Sometimes they can also look okay on the inside, but for whatever reason can be faulty. So if that's the case, you know you can always just swap out to the latest revision, see if it changes anything. I mean, if you guys have any questions down below, they're practically identical, guys. You can see that there.